Um, I work for Project Utopia, um, and the reason that the title of my talk is um, Building for the Future is More Than Just Real Estate is because Project Utopia um, is kind of looking at um, the housing crisis in a different way. So Utopia stands for Environmental and Economic Utopia. Um, to build a utopia, which is obviously a mythical or, or almost an unattainable thing, um, we believe it has to be economic and environmental. Economic in the sense that it, the product has to be scalable and affordable, and environmental in the sense that it has to be sustainable, but it also has to be socially acceptable or nobody's going to buy it. So um, this is kind of the process and the thought process that um, our founder, Joe Daniels, went through um, when he was creating the company and branding the company. And it's something that we kind of go through in our, our mind. Every time we create something, we're like, does it fit these four core principles of Utopia? Is it scalable, affordable, adoptable and sustainable? But what makes Utopia a little bit different is that we're looking at building homes in a holistic way. Um, so we like to see ourselves as an Equitech company. It doesn't exist. You won't have heard of it. We're trying to pioneer it at the moment, so bear with us. Um, but people are calling us house builders and we're like, we're not a house builder. We do, we do so much more than that. We want to inspire people to create change. Um, and then they start talking to us, talk, talking to us and calling us prop tech co company. And we're like, we're not really a prop tech company either. Um, so it kind of enlightened us to create this new sector called Equitech, um, and that stands for Energy, Construction and Intelligent Technologies. It's the combination of three core industries that you require for the delivery of any sustainable home building community of the future. Construction being um, the four ball um, hyper sit panel that we use um, and how that's developed and, um, and the performance matrix that that has as an MMC, MMC product. So we use a panelized system. Um, the energy being um, the way that your home not only produces energy, but stores energy. So do you have solar slate? Um, do you have a battery in your home, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then the intelligence being how smart is your home. Um, so Utopia have invented um, their own 5G ready plug and play smart system. You may have seen Samsung smart things, um, which kind of talks to all of your appliances in the home. What our eSmart code name at the moment does is exactly what smart things does, but on steroids. So um, we've, we've created a, a, a blind, um, a sensor, um, the, the hub itself, um, we've partnered now with Samsung um, as a global partner, um, as their only MMC um, partner to, to provide all of the appliances for our home. So they will then be feed into our smart home system um, and, and your lights will feed into there as well. And essentially what would happen is you could then walk into your home and you can go, hey, eSmart, set Netflix mode and your blinds will come down, your TV will come on, your appliances, however you set up Netflix mode to be, maybe your oven will come on, maybe your kettle will come on, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but what it also allows you to do is monitor the home um, production of energy and usage. So you can see how you can become more environmentally friendly through um, tracking through your smart home system. So we, we've really looked at it in, in such a way that we're like, actually, it's not just about the box that you live in. It's not just about the smartphone that you have and the Alexa that you have. And it's not just about how much energy you produce. It's all of these things combined that really build sustainable homes of the future and, and buildings. So um, on this slide, you'll see that there's a couple of things that we own as a Topher and our exclusive IP, which is our HyperSip um, wall panel. It's our um, ultra pad and tri-V, which is, um, Essentially, we are looking at creating and we're in the conversations and the discovery phase of creating solar cladding. So not only can you have um, solar, solar panels, um, we've created solar slate tile, similar to Tesla's, but it's half the price, a third of the price. Um, we're looking at solar cladding. So your building will be cladded, but it'll still be able to um, produce energy um, and obviously our eSmart system. Um, we've partnered with people like Samsung and Daikin to um, provide a lot of our HVAC systems and our M&E. Um, and then there's other ancillary partnerships like IKEA, et cetera, et cetera, that all feed into creating these homes. So we've really taken the view of let's get the best people in every single space. Let's partner with them. Let's innovate. And then let's bring it to the housing market. Um, so here's some, I'm not going to go through all of it actually, here I'm going to show you a video, which I have managed to find, 
um, if I can just escape this, um, two seconds. And this is about our manufacturing facility. Um, and it tells you some of the key stats about our panels as well. <laughs> share that pardon uh, you might want to share it <laughs> sorry oh sorry i'm trying to share it is my screen not share, shared at the moment no it's it's still on your powerpoint oh hold on bear with me no worries sorry <laughs> no worries uh, here we go Let's rewind it, because I was just sat enjoying it on my own then. Cool, so that's, um, that's basically our manufacturing facility in um, Ellesmere Port in Cheshire. I'm just going to get my um, presentation back up, bear with me. There we are, can we all see that now? Yeah, see the perfect. Yeah, perfect. Um, so essentially we use a panelised system. Um, we have 37 panel sizes, um, but we try to use a core seven of them um, just for ease. We can basically build anything with a right angle. So you can build uh, and bring us your plans, um, your planning, um, planning application, um, and we can say, okay, we can build that with the Atopia system within about 1% of actually what's already there. Um, we ship our panels to site and they're assembled on site. Um, it's very quick, um, very clean, um, and very easy. Um, we're now looking at how can we create off-the-shelf developments where people can say, I want a three bed, um, I want it this style to meet this planning requirement, click a button, the order comes to the factory, and within a few days they have the shipment on their development site of the panels. They literally slot them together like a super brick and then they clad it and um, deck up, decorate it in kind of however they, however they see fit. Um, so that's our panels. Our solar technology, as I mentioned earlier, um, we've innovated our own solar slate tile. Um, we use solar panels um, and we're looking at doing solar cladding and triple glazing solar glass at the moment. Um, at the thing that's preventing us from rolling that out during this kind of stage is, is the cost. So the cladding and the solar glass is relatively expensive. Um, and if you remember, I kind of highlighted affordability as one of the key drivers to how this will be successful. So we're still in the process of how do we develop that and create it, um, a more affordable product uh, that we can bring to the market. And um, our smart home technology, as I mentioned earlier, it deals with everything from heating and cooling, um, lighting, speakers, security, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Um, and that comes as standard in an Utopia home. So you'll get the smart system as standard. Um, and we're in the process of developing it at the moment. Our CEO of the smart system company just left um, Samsung. He was head of communications at Samsung. He's now our CEO, um, and he's looking at how do we create a product that's ready for mass market. Um, how can we sell this product in the mass market for retrofit purposes? And also how can we work with the commercial markets such as um, hotels um, and offices, et cetera, who use a lot of energy? Um, how can they use our smart system to reduce the amount of energy that they use just by retrofitting it? Um, so as you, as you know, um, MMC generally takes a lot less time to build as um, Michael, 
pointed out earlier, um, compared to traditional, um, the Atopia system and the Atopia product is much quicker to deliver, um, it's much cleaner. I would usually show you a lovely time lapse of um, one of our homes being built, um, but I don't have it right now because of um, technical difficulties. Yeah. But you can imagine it and I can share it later if you want me to. Um, but essentially, um, as I mentioned earlier, so panels are shipped aside. The, the, the structure of the panel is um, two magnesium oxide boards, um, a steel surround and an injected foam, which means they can just be slotted together um, and they perform the structure as well, depending on how high you go with the building. So it's, it's very simple. Um, we've built homes, um, we're in the process of building apartments, and we've also built schools. Um, the first project we actually ever did was a school with the idea that if you were going to put your children in it, you would live in it, right? So we did two schools, um, that are two of the highest performing schools in the UK, and then we moved on to homes. So this is actually an, a, a unit that we did in Namibia. Um, and the reason we did it in Namibia, um, so, our, so our CEO is a little bit of a maverick or a genius, I'm not quite sure yet, but whatever he's doing, he's doing something really, really well. Um, and he wanted to prove that our, our units and our homes aren't just UK based, that, they, that you can send them anywhere in the world, you can build anything from them and they'd still be high performing. So he sent a unit to Namibia. Um, this is part of a shanty replacement scheme that we're doing. The driver for Project Topia has never been capital. Um, it's always been creating change um, and changing the world and inspiring people to create change. And this is one of those projects. Um, so we sent a container of all the materials to Namibia. Um, I think in total, it wasn't 15 grand. I think it cost us about 20 grand for all the materials. Um, and within three hours, um, the superstructure had been put up with six locals who didn't know how to read or write in English. Um, so they gave them the superstructure and within three hours, they'd, they'd got it up to kind of well, not this level, it didn't have the roof on, but you can see in the image. Um, it was a two bed apartment and it's higher performing than most homes in the UK at the moment. So we can monitor that from where we are through digitalization um, and smart systems. And that was just kind of to prove, look, actually we can do it anywhere. What, what, what's holding us back from deploying these systems around the world? They're, they're essentially boxes, they're high performing boxes. And if you go to any country in the world, people live in boxes. It's just what you put on the outside and what you put on the inside that changes what their appearance is. Um, so what are the benefits? So low to zero um, carbon. So we're working on an NG plus basis. Um, air control, complete air control from both heating and cooling. Um, it's sustainable, so our manufactured speed build SIP can be deconstructed and recycled. Um, air purification due to air filtration and ventilation. Um, we have an energy plus policy. This means all our systems create more, more energy than they use feeding back to the main building um, and daylight mimicry. Um, we've introduced daylight mimicry to create the perfect lighting environment indoors, whatever the weather. Um, smart, as I mentioned, our homes are smart. We use a lot of renewable energy. Um, they're scalable, affordable with speed delivery. Um, I actually, I'm going to stop talking about this because I want to talk to you about our um, site in Corby and I'm, I'm kind of feeling, I'm, I'm kind of not enjoying going through this presentation. It's not flowing right for me. So yeah, essentially, our, um, our, sorry, I'm just going to go away with now. Um, our site in Corby is part of the um, Building for 2050 vision, um, net zero. We're already achieving net zero at Corby. It is our pilot scheme. Um, we, we bought Corby because it was a... Um, they, they called it like a graveyard site. Nobody could really deliver the designs. They were 20% bigger than what the market wanted, but it meant that we could get up, we could get out of the ground and prove concept. So we, we built at Corby um, and we've received some of the EPC ratings and the efficiencies. The reason that I, that I have titled my talk the way that I have is because I think that when we're talking about the future, we have to be taking into consideration environmental factors um, we have to be taking into consideration affordability, how smart it is, um, even down to the factor of our homes and our developments will charge um, electric cars. Now we've got cars that can drive themselves, 
but we don't have the infrastructure to support that and currently people are looking at doing train infrastructure rather than looking at how do we create these electric highways how do we build for the future and we're looking at it we're kind of going a little bit mad a little bit mind-boggling because the technology is there but it's just how do we how do we integrate it into our buildings into our communities into our homes to mean that actually we are delivering really sustainable and future-proof um home so that's that's kind of where i'm, I'm at at the moment um this is um so that, yeah that's project utopia um in a nutshell i'm sure you've probably got a lot of questions because there is a lot to talk about and undoubtedly i've missed some of it um so please feel free to yeah. fire away well done rosanna i think you did a great job and it's, it's not it's not easy navigating between videos but you did a great job and actually it, it just struck me there that you know prior to COVID 19 the number one issue on our minds was the planet um obviously we were aware of the fires in australia in the us and everything else so you know this idea that nmc will deliver I suppose the triple bottom line, if you think of the triple bottom line, everyone talks about, you know, uh, NMC at the end of the day, it's for people, it's for, it's for the planet and one has to make a profit. And that came across in Michal's presentation as well, you know, mm. of, a, of a fair price. Um, so, you know, I think it was great that you touched on that environmental piece because that is still important and will continue to be important uh, you know, beyond this crisis that we're currently in. So do we have, um, uh, Roy Hoven there just came back to say, you know, great presentation. He had to leave, but he really enjoyed that presentation. So my one question to you, Rosanna, would be, are Atopi involved in any housing delivery frameworks in the UK presently? Yes, yeah. so Atopi. Are you, working, yeah. Sorry, are you working with any local authorities? Are you in any frameworks? Yeah, so we're quite embedded with quite a lot at the moment. Um, we're partner. We're in the process of partnering with Homes England. Um, Mark Farmer is really. I know you mentioned him earlier. Is really embedded in what we're doing. Um, we're working with Briam um, to look at new accreditation. We're creating new um, technologies to assist with the planning policy and delivery to the market because obviously planning is a massive um, hindrance to actually getting um, kind of deliver deliverables of buildings. Um, we're working with local authorities. Um, at the moment, there's three core ways that people can work with us um, and we've categorised it as Atopic communities, which is where we work with local authorities and councils um, in a master planning um, role, where we look at how to build those eco cities of the future and the villages of the future. Um, it comes down to particular um, and specific planning um, to make sure everything's correct um, to kind of be able to kind of link all of these amazing attributes together. Um, then you have Atopia Homes, which Corby is. Um, that's our land act team um, from cradle to grave, essentially, um, buy the land, build it out from, and then into sales and marketing um, and customer care. And then we have Powered by Atopia. And now Powered by Atopia is the most interesting one at the moment for us, um, because what I think is going to happen at the end of COVID is there's going to be a lot of, um, a lot of impact on the industry due to um, supply chain um, and actually getting people back on site and building, et cetera, et cetera. Now, Powered by Utopia is where we can partner with any company. It could be Barclay Group or um, we're talking to massive housing um, associations at the moment um, and housing deliverers. And we're just saying to them, look, you can have our system. We know our system performed higher than any other system. And that is truly because it's, got an MMC product but it's also because it it, it, it kind of it it collaborates or it, or it brings in all these other aspects which is mm. these smart systems etc um, and you can have our system like an Intel core chip to your computer and you can do whatever you want, want with that um, and it can be Barclay Homes powered by Topia or AHH powered by Topia um, so we're working with very um, different kind of levels and um, in the industry and different profiles from local authorities all the way over to house builders and other developers. Um, because fundamentally, if you're going to go to a development site, and we've had um, one of the housing associations and builders speak to us about this, they're like, if we put you on our, on our site and you, you, you take up, a, I don't know, 50 units, I think we were talking to them about at one point, they were like, nobody's gonna want the other homes because of how green yours are, because yours are the same price per square foot as everybody else's. 
So now we need to bring up the level of all the other homes. Well, the simple way to do that is just to use the Utopia system as the Intel core chip of everybody else. Okay. So that's okay, kind of so doing some really interesting things. So very ambitious. Uh, yeah. Very ambitious. <laughs> need to be, okay.